What's going on guys? Phantasm Mask here and I wanted to talk today about a game that's coming out next month called Injustice Gods Among Us, which if you're a DC Comics fan, you're probably going insane wanting this game right now. Uh, for me, it's a highly anticipated title. I can't wait to pick this game up because it combines the awesome combat system of Mortal Kombat 9 with DC Heroes. Now, before, you know, We've had Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe. I like to think that that does not exist. Uh, with Injustice, it seems that they've listened to the outcry that people had from that game and how tame it was, and decided to remedy that. Uh, a few things that I'm going to go over in this video is that I, my hopes for the game. Also, I want to touch on their little... Uh, I, I'm, I wouldn't necessarily say it's like a contest, but like a, uh, a fan vote battle arena thing and they post videos each week for these uh, for two fighters fighting. I'll go into that a little bit later. But this game I really feel that DC, Warner Brothers, and NetherRealm really should have taken the risk and made this as gory as a Mortal Kombat game. Uh, if you're familiar with DC Comics at all Despite recent attempts to kind of do the whole, eh, we're mature, we deal with rape and murder inside of our comics, um, it, DC over Marvel is definitely up there in more adult-oriented material. That's why I feel when you make a fighting game involving DC heroes, you should just go all out. Um, I, I don't really see what the purpose is other than just trying to and this is a really lame excuse, but try to get that teenage audience when people, if it's a rated M game, they're going to get their hands on it anyway. And you look at the Call of Duty games, and that's plenty of proof of that. You see 13-year-olds playing that all the time. But with Injustice, I do think they should have taken that extra risk. Um... As for the game itself, it looks amazing so far. Um, granted, this year has not exactly been the shining example of great games yet. Yet. There's been a lot of bad ones. I mean, I played uh, DMC recently. I played Colonial Marines recently. Uh, there's So far, there hasn't really been that good of a game. And right now, I'm banking on Injustice to be that good game. I don't normally play fighting games. Uh, fighting games to me, uh, especially with Capcom fighting games, are extremely tedious. I don't like playing with other people online with it. I, it's, it really just doesn't have that fun factor. It's more about, I beat you, therefore I am a better person than you. There's a lot of that mentality when it comes to Capcom fighters. With this, however, I can easily sit down with a few of my friends and we could have a good time playing this, uh, unlike other fighting games that are out on the market right now. Uh, personally, I can't wait for this to come out. Now, a word on the Injustice Battle Arena. Um, I know that this is fan-voted, and I think that is the biggest problem with the Battle Arena because I... It's been a while since I've read anything from DC Comics. I pretty much stopped reading after the Countdown series because of how bad Countdown was. I mean, you, coming off of 52, uh, 52 was awesome. Uh, Countdown was the exact opposite. Um, I, I don't really think much has changed considering that that was a few years ago. Um, so far, there has been a, there have been a few matches in this battle arena which would not they would not have the same outcome in the comics. Let's take my first example. You have the Flash versus Shazam, which they've officially changed his name to Shazam. Apparently, what while I was out, they cha officially changed it to Shazam. Uh, there's no possible way that the Flash would have been able to beat Shazam. Um, that 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 wasn't the match that necessarily irritated me. Uh, I understand that the Flash. Yeah, while I'm not discounting him at all, he is uh, plenty powerful. But I could easily see 
Shazam beating the Flash in a fair fight. Um, the next one, however, is the one that I really want to touch on, and that is the Joker versus Lex Luthor. Now, when I heard that Lex Luthor was going to be in this game, uh, I heard about it through this match. I didn't know. I was like, Lex Luthor, what are they going to do to make him a playable character? So they gave him the power suit. So I'm like, oh, okay, the Joker versus Lex Luthor in his power suit. There's no possible way the Joker could beat Lex in the power suit whatsoever. The Joker is not a fighter. A lot of people seem to misunderstand that. The Joker is about smoke and mirrors and cunning and hit-and-run guerrilla tactics. He is not an in-your-face fighter by any means whatsoever. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why Batman can never seem to beat him in a lot of situations. Um, <laughs> there is no possible way that the Joker, a crazed lunatic wearing a purple suit with a revolver and a switchblade, could beat a man in a 10-foot-tall power suit with rocket launchers and lasers and machine guns and basically a ghetto Iron Man suit. There's no possible way that can happen. And I'm not sure if this is just me channeling a fanboy or anything like this. It's just when I see these matches and I see that they're clearly going, well, the Joker's more popular, so he has to win the match. Kind of agitates me because even later you'll have you'll you'll have some better things later when it comes to matchups. Uh, for example, you have Superman versus Sinestro. That fight with me could have gone either way. I was leaning more towards Sinestro, though, because when it comes to Superman, yes, he does have a weakness for Kryptonite. Is Sinestro going to be able to bring that to the fight? Probably not. But Sinestro also has another element which Superman has not had very much success with in the past, and that is the fact that the ring is not a piece of technology, it is a piece of magic, and Superman has never fared very well against magic before. It could easily be used to defeat Superman. Um, I, I was really interested in that match because, I granted, I knew because this was a fan-voted thing, of course Superman's gonna fucking win, and that angered me because I hate Superman so much he is such a dumb superhero. It's so, it's so bad to see such a generic hero win. Uh, I mean, it's just as bad as seeing Captain America win in uh, in other fighting games as well. I'm like, why? He has a shield and he's a little bit stronger than the average guy. I don't, I don't really see how overwhelming patriotism is going to be able to defeat a giant Cthulhu monster. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Sinestro versus Superman. I, I really wanted to see Sinestro win that. Uh, I thought that would have been an interesting matchup now that we know that Green Arrow won against Hawkgirl, which I was leaning more towards Green Arrow in that match anyway, because granted, Hawkgirl does have the ability to fly, um, does have that awesome mace, but Oliver seems to have range. Also, he's a martial arts expert trick arrows and all of that, all of that good stuff that he has at his disposal. I, I really, that was an interesting one too, because that could have gone, that if out of all the matches they've done so far, that one could have gone either way, because it's like, they're so, they're so kind of balanced, I guess. I mean, granted, she has flight, he has reach. Uh, I think it's Cyborg versus Aquaman, that one is a no-brainer. You put water in a few electronics, it's going to fry. Green Lantern versus Solomon Grundy. Um, that one was almost a no-brainer to me, other than the fact that Solomon Grundy is undead. That was my primary worry with that match. Um, but I'm glad to see Green Lantern take that. Uh, he took it in a very unconventional way, but I, I will give them that. I really like these uh, kind of super combo moves that they've introduced into this game where, you know, he teleports Grundy somewhere and he starts smashing them with uh, construct buses and uh, ramming construct planes into his body. You know, it was uh, it was interesting. Uh, it came out of nowhere. It really took me by surprise. 
Batman versus Bane. This old matchup, especially seeing it in The Dark Knight Rises, uh, when I heard that they were going to do the Battle Arena thing, I kind of knew this was coming. I, I didn't know it would be the first match, but I kind of saw this matchup coming because of uh, how the fans how the fans would probably react if it didn't happen. Um, Batman beats Bane by running him over with the Batmobile. I found that to be quite hilarious. And then you probably get the dullest matchup out of all of the uh, initial fights, which is Wonder Woman versus Harley Quinn. Granted, that's a no-brainer. It was extremely boring to watch, considering that Wonder Woman is boring, and so is Harley Quinn. With the quarterfinal matchups, you have Batman versus Wonder Woman, Flash versus Joker, uh, Aquaman versus Green Lantern, and Superman versus Green Arrow. Uh, my predictions are, I'm going to go on ahead and call this, but uh, Batman, Flash, they're going to go at it in the semifinals. Uh, Green Lantern versus Superman. Um, as much as it pains me to say that Superman is going to win against Green Arrow, course it's probably going to happen between the fans uh, and if the Joker beats the Flash the only thing I'm going to say about this is f fuck the fans for doing that the Joker is not powerful and never will be I don't even know why he's in a fighting game it doesn't make any sense it's just it doesn't it does not compute it really does not it's bad and you should feel bad no you should feel that. But that's, and everybody knows this is going to come down to an inevitable showdown between Superman and Batman, which we already have a history. We already have proven history of who would win in that fight, and that would obviously be Batman. Because Batman always comes prepared. Always. So, that's my thoughts on Injustice. It's going to be an awesome game. I can't wait. I'm banking on this one to be my first good game of the year. Um, yeah. Yeah. I gotta go play some more Persona 4 Golden, so that way I can do a review of that. And uh, as far as LPs go, I really, I don't know, there might be a Mass Effect 3 Citadel DLC LP. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Mass Effect 3 Citadel LP D uh, DLC LP, yeah. Okay. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Try saying that five times fast. So, Injustice. It's gonna have a Red Sun pack in it. That might make me want to play as Superman. I guess, eh, but I'm still not going to pre-order it through GameStop, so you're not getting my money that way. Anyway, it, tell me what you think about Injustice. Uh, tell me what you think about this battle arena thing that they've got going on. Who do you want to win? Um, I've already thrown my stuff out there. Yeah, I'm just really interested to see what you guys, because I know we can get a fanboy argument going on down here. Do it. Do it. I want to hear a fanboy argument. So I'll see you guys later. Got some stuff to do. Take care.